Hi everybody, I'm Mike Bizzelli and this is Lonnie the Theater Lady. And you saw Bricolage's 1984. Yes, I did, and I missed you. Oh, I know. I'm going next, <laughs> I'm going in a couple days. You won't be sorry. Oh, you God. will not be sorry. Uh, for those of our viewers that don't know the Midnight Radio series. The Midnight Radio. Yeah, it's sorry. really I love I'm a big fan of the Midnight Radio. Yeah, series. it's it's such a um charming concept they set the stage as though you're watching a radio station right a program in progress in the 40s i'd say wouldn't you say oh yeah like sign era, effects over the, the foley the, artists and as the they on air say. sign and yes. the applause sign and again yeah, the foley sound effects which were fascinating to watch and listen <laughs> Um, the things that they used for the sound effects and the sounds they made yeah. didn't always match. No. But they sounded so realistic. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the clattering dishes, which actually were clattering dishes, slamming doors. But, uh, very cool. And they had the microphone set up everywhere. And I The old-fashioned looking microphones. Yes, too. they did. And I thought, as an audience member, um, we were the audience was as though they were actually the audience of the radio show. And I thought, no... This is going to be kind of static, you know, a radio show. Oh my gosh, no! They were moving from mic to mic, right. uh, totally fluid movements, lots of action, mm -hmm. and they also had a, a screen set up. Since this was George Orwell's 1984, oh, of course, Big Brother was watching. Of course, Big and Brother you saw the big it. eyeball on the screen. Oh, fun! And they had other um, things that they showed scenes. To uh, okay. that helped make it clear where they were and what was happening. Oh, very cool! So, 1984, as you said, a totalitarianism state, right? Yeah. Where Big Brother's always watching, and we have uh, a man trying to f get free of that system. Yes, joining with them. Well, it's the plot of 1984, and they followed it pretty closely. Okay. So he's now most of the kind of like a revolution an underground revolution very secret and uh, that was the main character was played by brett goodnack oh we love brett goodnack oh yeah and his performance i would say was really brilliant um brilliant yes i really would oh good no that's great it was gripping and his portrayal of fear and terror was palpable. I, I felt it in my stomach wow. watching him. See, I know him as a funny guy, so he this is not funny, Brett. This oh, is serious, no. Brett. This is total acting mode, Brett. Oh, good. And his love interest was Sarah Williams. Oh, okay. She played her role uh, very sweetly and then later very fiercely. Oh, okay. Well, I, I that know. a spoiler. The thing is, the play is like... I mean, the book is like, how old? Like 1949. Yeah, so I don't know if it's a spoiler to be telling people that, but okay. But it's I think if something's like 50 years old or more, you don't have to call spoilers, right? That's true. Yeah, I would that's think. That's true. And so, they did follow it closely. So and who else was in the show? Uh, there were other performers were John Michna. Okay. Um, Paul Guggenheimer, that you Who's might recognize. actually from, from the real radio. Yeah, from NPR. Okay, at WSA. And uh, Sean Sears, and they oh. all... Oh, no, not no, Sean, Sean Sears. Sears. Uh, Sean Patrick Sears. Oh, because there is a... Okay. Is that the guy that directed the thing that we saw? Never mind. <laughs> I don't know okay. if that's the same one or not. Okay. I didn't remember if his the director's first name was Sean or not. But okay. anyway, they all turned in very polished performances also. Oh, very and nice. Some, some of them were more than one character. Oh, right. And, and midnight radio shows, they usually are. That's fun. It is, but the whole idea was very charming, I thought, and kind of retro. With commercials. With commercials that were spoofy and spoofy. cute that related to what was happening in the story. But oh, I, that would be a spoiler to tell Okay, us. yeah, don't They're don't very cute. Those. But I found the whole production just to be absorbing and uh, sometimes even chilling. <laughs> so you know, the terrors of brain manipulation and what it can do. And the cast really uh, was really calculating in building the tension Ooh, fun. kicking it up notch by notch by notch till it really reached a crescendo Ooh. So this is running at the bricolage theater on liberty avenue can't through november 14th and i know i can't wait till you see it so we can talk about it you're gonna love it 
So it's set in the future, 1984, which is the past. Past now. Like way past but, now. But you know, it's kind of like shoulder pads and big hair. <laughs> I, when I think of 1984, I think of the Golden Girls. I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> That's all I think of. And maybe the facts of life. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Some of the changes, actually. I mean, look at the... What is it? CSA? No. Oh, that's my community services association. The wow. NSA. <laughs> oh, I was going to say... I was I mean, going to say, where so do you get your fruits and vegetables? Big because, wow. Watching, not- That's what I think of the 80s. Okay. Loss of disco. The loss of disco. <laughs> that can bring a person down. Down, down, down. That's right.